a couple months ago they released that new set in magic with all the new dinosaur cards and there are some really cool dinosaur cards in that set that would definitely help out my commander deck i haven't actually touched this deck in a while and actually played with it so it would be nice to kind of go through the cards a little bit and kind of figure out maybe some cards to add from the new set i did intentionally wait this long because i really don't like to spend that much money on cards i try not to sometimes it's hard so a lot of those cards did come down in price quite significantly some did obviously go up more in price the ones that are a lot better but for the most part a lot of the cards did go down in price so i feel more comfortable at least buying them now in this video we're going to go over some of those cards that i intend on probably purchasing to add to this commander deck also this deck i think right now is in the budget state and i did get some new cards somewhat recently so even though this video might not technically be a budget commander deck this, this essentially started as a budget deck and then now we're gonna maybe upgrade it a little bit with the cards that i already have in my collection as well as cards i intend on purchasing because this deck is pretty sweet i do really appreciate the support on the last video it has almost like 10,000 views that's pretty wild so if you're watching this video and you also watch that video I do really appreciate the support hopefully that video was pretty fun and enjoyable for you to watch anyway though Gishoth went down a lot in price it was like 30 bucks in that budget build now I think it's like five bucks they got like two new variants so or different printings of the card so definitely pick up a copy if you want now now is definitely the time there are some other legendary creatures that can be used and replace a Gishoth for the dinosaur deck. However, I still want the strategy to remain, I guess, the same. I want to play Gishoth, play Big Dino, then I want to swing with more Big Dino. So I also need to ensure that this deck still has the ramping capability. And I want to do that mostly with the lands because I think it's a lot more consistent. You're not as prone to board wipes and stuff. As always, though, I'm not an expert. I just play this game every now and then and like someone in Big Monsters. Definitely let me know down below in the comments some suggestions and tips. Also, definitely check out the comments and read it because, again, I am limited with what I know and everything. So anyway, though, Gishoth, I definitely want to keep Gishoth. I'm happy I bought this card when it was like cheap. I think I bought it for like three, four bucks. Now it's like, I don't even know, maybe 15. Sweet card. I actually don't even think I got a chance to play it. Yeah, definitely gonna keep that. So definitely, how many big dinos are we gonna have? Yeah, I wanna go through this deck first. This is definitely gonna be a more chill video. I don't really have, I don't have this whole video kind of planned out. It's kind of more chill, laid back video. I do have things I wanna talk about and discuss, but it's definitely gonna be a little bit more of a different video. This guy I wanna keep too, he's pretty sweet. Galt to keep. This Atali dude is pretty good, don't get me wrong, but we got the other one. So this might be a potential to erase or remove. Yeah, these guys are all pretty cool. Quartz Crasher, this guy's cool, but again, there, there are some really, really cool dinos. So I think I'm probably going to take this guy out. Vernon Sun Avatar is going to allow us to stay in the game, but gaining some life and stuff, so we kind of need it. This guy is pretty good. It's a cycle. Look at the, yeah, kind of need that. Good utility. Mm, this guy's also not bad, but we probably could change him up for something else. Charting Monstrodon, yeah, there are better cards now. Steve, we'll keep Steve. I like this card a lot. Yeah, we were definitely going to take these out. Anything that says... Hmm, maybe not everything. I, I like this because it gives haste. And it also helps our dinos. But do we need it? We do run Ready Store Alpha. That's potentially a, a, taking that out. Keeping the Raptor. Yeah, just some supporting stuff. We can find a dino. This guy... When he enters the battlefield, yeah, we can do some cool stuff with this card. Debatable, definitely debatable. Um, put him up there. Register Alpha, give everything haste. Yeah, this guy saves our boys. This guy could get taken now. Boros Charm. Okay, so those are all pretty much the creatures. Why is this creature over here? Can't be countered. I really like that. The cards that I definitely want to put in, I want this Apex Owl Star, dude. He's cool. Carnage Tyrant could probably skip out. We got to get this Tyranorex dude in. Can't be counter. Trample Ward 4, Haste Toxic 4. Card's so good. So we definitely need to make some room for those. I did, yeah, I did end up getting some other ramping cards I want to add in. The Ferocidon, we might. Uh, the reason why we took out the Ferocidon, or I took out the Ferocidon was because of the dual mana requirements. But now for upgrading the deck, we're going to be able to put some better cards kind of in it, especially at the lands. So we're going to have a lot more dual lands. So probably going to go into Eldamri's Call. Definitely want to throw that in there. Polyraptor. Trap. Dude, this card is like 25 bucks now. What the heck happened? There must be some combo or something. Probably throw that in the deck too. 
Green Sun Zenith, yeah, Heroic Intervention. Yeah, we got options now, now that I'm making this deck not budget. I'm obviously keeping it semi-budget, like I'm not going overkill, spending a couple hundred bucks, but... Okay, so these are all spells. There's a, a lot of spells in here. Probably some of them we might take out, because I definitely need more dinos. We do have these cards that allow us to draw some stuff. Ripjaw Raptor... I love. I love this card, so I'm probably going to end up keeping it. But we really aren't using the Enraged thing that often. This guy is just too good. I really like the robot, but they're, they're, again, we got options. So this guy is probably going to end up coming out. Same thing with this card. Never We get to draw more cards, but I think we're going to have a lot better options. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have like eight potential cards to add. I definitely want to add Heroic Intervention. We're definitely going to add Trapdoor Giant 2. Three, four, five. We don't need, don't need. Carnage Tyrant, as much as I love it, we don't really need. I definitely want to add that. That's another ramping spell. Holly Raptor, why not? We have it. Green Sun Zenith also would be pretty good. Yeah, probably just throw it in there. We do have other. Yeah, do we want to run the triple? No. The reason why we're not running these is because. We definitely want to, we'd rather run something like this, where we can just destroy the whole board. Like these one mana cards aren't really going to do as good when we're ramping into something a lot better. Yeah, probably run, I think Cavern of Souls went down in price, still like 35 bucks, that's way too expensive for me. We're going to add all these dual lands, yeah, got plenty. But when we get to, we'll do, I'll do that off camera, no one really cares about lands. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is actually eight cards right there we're gonna replace, not even including the other really good cards. Moving on to the computer, we got Galta, Stampede, Tyrant. This is definitely one of the best dinos I've ever seen. 17 bucks though right now, roughly, so kind of expensive. Uh, I probably won't buy that, there's no reason. But the, the ability is insane. Eight mana to cast 12, 12 trample. Yeah, that, that, that card is needed in this deck. This card's like a dollar right now. Whenever this card or another dinosaur enters the battlefield under control, you discover X or X that creature's toughness. You can only do it once each turn. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, that card is needed in the deck. And if it's only a dollar, I'm definitely going to pick that up, actually. Was it Pandal? Let's actually see. Go to TCG player. Oh, you get a cool artwork, too, if you want. TCG player, you could pick it up for, like... Uh, that. This is so ugly, though, but pick it up for pretty cheap, so... That's probably a card I will add to the collection, or the, the deck, I mean. This guy too, Earthshaker Dreadmaw. You can draw a card for each dino, yeah. Artwork spicy too. So again, the key thing with the deck that I'm building is I want the big dinos. This, it's not that big of a dino. Ah, oh, that's interesting. It doesn't really synergize, I don't think, that well, unless I'm being dumb. I think I'm still gonna buy this card just because it's good. This guy is pretty good and he's gonna definitely replenish our hand if we hit it off Galta. Hulking Raptor, not like an amazing card. Artwork is beautiful though, but a four mana, five, three, war two, and you get some extra mana. That doesn't really fit the strategy of Gishoth in my opinion. This card is not helping us ramp and it's not getting us a huge dino, but if it's like a dollar, maybe $2, I'll pick it up. It's kind of cool. Got this card, Curious Alistar Ultisaur. Yeah, that's gonna allow us to draw so many cards, but it's five bucks. I'll probably wait for that to come down in price a little bit. So right now we need a slot for one, realistically two, but I'm not gonna buy this card until it comes down in price. Definitely gonna add Earthshaker Dreadmaw, and I'll buy, I'll buy this card, but not gonna put it in. So we need room for one card. Awakening Sun's Avatar is actually kind of cheap. The triple white is kind of bad though. So i uh, probably stick. Oh, yep. We need is a comma. Yeah, I definitely need that. And it's like three dollars fifty cents. Yeah, that's not bad. Maybe even if it's like four bucks. That, that's definitely cheap enough. Cause this card was expensive for a while, and for what it does, it's crazy. Definitely want to add this card. So we need two open slots. Skipping down a lot a bit. I don't want to add this monkey ape thing. So sunfill imitator. Whenever this attacks, you can make it become a copy of another dino. So for three mana. It's essentially just another big dino on the field. I like that. Uh, I don't love it though, but I like it a lot. I think that probably will get added. So Sun Frill Imitator, new slot for two, we got him. This card also seems pretty good, but I think there's just better dinos out there. The Spaceship Dinosaur is 15 bucks right now. Yeah, it gives other dinos, you know, trample, vigilance, and buffs them a little bit, but that's 15 bucks, I don't, I don't need that. Rampaging Brontodon, actually, do I do I not have that card? 
I don't think I have this card. I, mean, I don't know why I don't have this card. It must have been like expensive at one point. But that's definitely needed for this deck, I think, because we're going to have a lot of lands. Yeah, I'll add that card too. Why not? That card had to be. Let's, let's check it out. Okay, at one point this card was actually $4, so... Which, I mean, not that expensive, but definitely not a dollar. So I'll probably pick that up too. Wrathful Raptor seems really good for the Enrage triggering, but we're not really going to do that. Trumpeting Carnosaur, this is this is a great card. For six minutes, a 7-6 with Trample, and you can discover five. The discover mechanic is something new to me, but it's basically ca it's Cascade on steroids, so it's, it's good. The artwork on this card is also pretty spicy. However, for four bucks, I don't think I want it for that much money. I like this artwork better. The tr yeah, the borderless one I don't really care too much. If I get that card for like two bucks, I'd be good, but I don't want to pay like five bucks for it. Hunting Velociraptor, definitely a card that you need to put in this deck. But forty bucks, and I could buy a whole, whole other commander deck for that. So I'm gonna, you know, wait till that comes down in price. It eventually will. If it doesn't, well, I'm not missing out on too much. This is a really interesting card, and the artwork is awesome. It has a myriad. Whenever this creature attacks for each other opponent, other than the defending player, you may create a token that's a copy of this creature that's tapped and attacking that player or planeswalker they control with exile tokens. Huh, that seems actually really good. I don't know if I want to spend the money on that though. Definitely a card that's good though. I think now a budget dinosaur deck is even better than it was before. There's so much more support. You can even go this egg route too. There's some pretty good egg cards. Which is a battlefield survivor for basic land on the battlefield. Okay. And then you could flip it in the flip, create two dinosaur tokens. Creature control could tap for stuff. Search life for dinosaur crap on your hand. Huh, wow. Creature control can double strike. That's a lot of value. So even for three mana, you're going to get a land to your hand. Hmm. It's, uh, it's not the best, I think. If, you, if it gets put on the battlefield, the land, I think that'd be even better, but it doesn't in this case. I really want Ravenous Tyrannosaurus and Raymond Swanland does the artwork. But yeah, look at that. 28 bucks. I'll, I'll pass for now. Super cool card though. I need this card. Can't Congregation at Dawn. Strawberry the three creatures. Reveal them. Shuffle your library. Put those cards on top in any order. I think Eldamri's Call is a little bit more specific and better in a sense. For two mana, but still a good card. I could have sworn I bought this card. I'm confused now. Where would I put it? Yeah, we ended up picking this card up. Niatrum, I don't think is good enough. Yeah, Deflecting Swat, obviously a good card. I'm not going to spend the money. Tail Swipe is a new one. I like the art. I kind of want to add some space for it, but I don't think it really fits the the vibe of the deck. Savage Order, yeah, I want this card so badly. And Jurassic Park, uh, was it episode 3? And the Spinosaurus attacking the T-Rex, so cool. So for 4 mana, you sacrifice a creature of power 4 greater than you put any dino on the field and it gains indestructible to your next turn. <sighs> you do that with um, the Galta, that's like the new Galta. Oof. I really, Final Devastation is such a cool card too, and I wish I bought it when it was a little bit cheaper. The artwork's crazy, it fits the theme of the dinosaurs, but yeah, a little expensive. The Don't, don't Move doesn't seem too bad, but I don't think it's that amazing, I don't know. Definitely a cool card for a collection, but I don't think I need it into the dinosaur deck. So I definitely need about five spaces in the deck. I kind of forgot what the cards were, but it was roughly five. These are kind of like bigger dinosaurs. So I got to make sure that my curve isn't completely out of whack. I'll eventually, you know, throw everything into like, I'll eventually throw everything into like an online thing to actually see the mana curves and everything like that. But for now, let's just have a little bit more fun. Going to go through this one more time and just make sure I don't want any of these cards. I don't know why the rampant growth is here. I'm pretty sure I have one already in the deck. Yeah, we don't, I don't, I really don't want the Marauding Raptor. I don't think these are too, I think these are too slow. Don't really need the Planeswalkers. Bonfire of the Dam is tempting. We are gonna add these lands. Brontodon, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, these cards are not ideal. I think I'm gonna end up taking this card out. We're gonna have a lot of other things to put in. So we definitely need this. I want the Regisaur Alpha. This is debatable. I, I like this card because it helps us search. So I, I think we'll keep it in for now. And I want all these in. These are kind of the utility creatures. So we'll leave that there. Yeah, I think we, we, we got some room. We can add a couple more big boys in here. The big dinos make you win the game. So yeah, we're gonna add Polyraptor, that one, that one, Trap Jaw. Okay, now we got a lot of big boys. If we do end up putting in yeah, we're gonna put in 
two, at least three, because we got Z the Zakama, we got the, the new card, Earthshaker Dreadmaw, that Galta card's gonna pass, we're gonna pass on that for now, and the Rampaging Brontodon, so we got three more big boys coming in, so we definitely gotta be careful with our mana curve, but it's definitely, we're gonna throw this card in too, this is gonna help us get some more lands. Where's my land stuff? Yeah, okay. Cards like Samu, the the double strike is really good. Ah, yeah, we do have Boros Charm for that. We do have that other dinosaur. The Primal Might I'm taking out. I, I like that card a lot because it's kind of like on archetype. I don't know, I just don't think it's, I don't think it's that amazing though for one mana, you could fight something. Ah, I kind of like it, but I think, yeah, th so there, there's actually a card I forgot to mention that we didn't get to see. Going back over to the computer, check this card out. I feel like I'm gonna add this to the deck. Tap it, create an egg creature token. Okay, whenever an egg dies, reveal the top card of your library to you reveal a creature card. Put that card on the battlefield and the rest of the bottom. So you just get free dinosaurs when you your eggs die. I think that seems pretty cool. Definitely a little bit slower, but in case like the Galta strategy doesn't like pop off, at least you have another way to kind of cheat dinosaurs out. I think that'd be kind of cool to add to the deck. I don't want I don't want to add like more eggs and all that stuff to the deck. We'll just keep it at this card as just an alternative way to play or an alternative way to get our big dinos out. So I think I'll keep it at that. Okay, so here are all of our ways of ramping We've got so many so add this card i think i am gonna end up taking out the samu even though the double strike is good but you can do it every round i think we'll keep it in for now i think it's it's too powerful it's too strong so we got heroic intervention is another way to save our boys actually that seems to be like the only thing we have to save our boys do I really not have anything else? We got a lot of AoE removal. Got some extra draw. That is one thing I think I need. Just some way to protect my creatures. At least like one or two more. I think Rootbound Defense is not a bad card. There's, there's obviously a, so many things you could do with these dinosaurs. So right now I'm rocking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 potential ways to ramp just in spells. All of these are going to help us get more lands on the battlefield. Is that too many? 14 out of 100. I don't, I think that's probably fine. Because again, this strategy is get your big dinos out on the field. Again, I'm going to do the lands and stuff off camera, but we got some of our mana fixing stuff i think this is all pretty standard just to keep obviously i don't have any like, mountains and stuff in this deck we also can get double strike from this so it does cost four basically five mana so that is a little bit rough but at least it is another way actually now that i'm looking at it i've misread this the, the nixos this depends on our devotion yeah, it's probably not worth it in this deck. The Cavern of Souls obviously is insane. You just call dinos. There is that other card, Unclaimed Territory. Why is it not in... Where is it? It's on my deck. have to go find that. That would be a perfect card for this. Actually, would it be? Anyway, though, I'm probably going to spend maybe to maybe 20 more bucks on this deck. Again, I don't... I really don't want to spend too much money here. Just I, I don't I don't play these decks and cards enough to justify spending a certain amount of money on the cards for playing purposes. When I do get the whole deck assembled, I'll actually make a dedicated video discussing the cards and the, the strategy and deck and stuff. I mean, obviously you kind of seen all the cards here, but this was kind of a lot more confusing of a video. It wasn't as structured. Not a, I guess yeah, it's basically not a structured deck tech video. So it's probably a little bit hard to follow. I don't even know how many cards are actually in here. I think, yeah, in my initial version, I think my land count was too small, I think, or low. I think we need at least 36 lands, probably 38 lands. Because, yeah, I think 38 lands is probably correct. Anyway, though, just a chill chat, and I wanted to, again, say thank you to everybody watching that uh, Dinosaur Deck Tech video. Got a lot of views. I didn't think it would get that many. I didn't think it would get, like, over a couple hundred. So definitely appreciate everybody's support. If you are playing Dinosaur Deck, definitely let me know some thoughts down below on your strategy, your deck building, and, I guess, card tips and stuff. 
take care everybody hopefully i'll talk to you soon i don't intend on making you know video every week or so but make a video every now and then chat about some magic i'll see you later take care